Eternal Blue makes a comeback, Apple's iOS 11.1 gets hacked, and investigators identify Russian DNC hackers. This is Hacker Daily for Tuesday, November 7, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. Security researchers are concerned after Eternal Blue makes a strong comeback. According to Netscope Threat Research Labs, an SMB threat has been discovered, which utilizes Eternal Blue exploit and is launched internally from the newly infected machine, permitting direct access to shared SMB machines, such as file shares and backup systems, putting important data stores at critical risk. Netscope researcher Ashwin Vamshi stated, We have observed that the presence of embedded document files in a cloud storage and collaboration service possesses a more significant threat to an enterprise environment since it arrives from a trusted source. Once an endpoint is compromised with the second stage payload like Eternal Blue, it creates a wormed infection, leading all neighboring internal computers to be attacked via SMB from the newly compromised internal stepping stone system. In other news, many users are concerned after Apple's iOS 11.1 has already been successfully hacked by security researchers. Tencent Keen Security Lab were the first ones to break in with a Wi-Fi exploit which earned them $110,000 from the company. Dustin Childs of the Tipping Point founded Zero Day Initiative stated they used a total of four bugs to gain code execution and escalate privileges to allow their Rouge application to persist through a reboot. After that, Richard Zhu targeted the Safari browser on the Apple iPhone 7. He used a bug in the browser and an out-of-bounds bug in the broker to escape the sandbox and execute code. In the meantime, Apple will not be disclosing more details on the attacks until they can patch them. And lastly, United States investigators have successfully identified Russian state DNC hackers. The Department of Justice prosecutors are now preparing an indictment case to be filed next year after more than six Russian government officials have been identified as being involved in the hacking of DNC computers, which many believe influenced the U.S. presidential election last year. However, the U.S. intelligence community is still unsure of who is behind the cyber attacks that stole politically sensitive emails and later leaked them through WikiLeaks. Many people also believe an indictment would put pressure on the Trump administration to acknowledge the role the Russian state played in his election win. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.